Hello, this is Jessie and welcome to the Jessie at Home Stitchopedia. In this video I'm going to show you a right leaning um, make one or a make one right. So here we have a little piece that I have made up to show you the, the make one right and the make one left so you can kind of compare them. This is the center of my piece and all of these are make one rights. All of these um, have make one lefts right next to that center. So you can see a make one right, also called a, a right leaning make one. You can see why it why it's called that. It leans towards the right. So it's nice to use on the right side of your increases. Um, you can certainly use a make one right on the left side of your increases. It will create a little ridge right next to your center stitch. So here's your center stitch. There would be, a, if you put a make one right on this side, you would have a little ridge right up next to it, which if that's the look you're going for, there's no reason why it doesn't work. But for now I'm going to show you the make one right used on the right side. And um, just so that I can show you more of them, I'm going to show you a whole series of make one rights. But what you would normally do is you would work all the way up to your center stitch. So here is your center stitch and you would make your make one right in be just to the right of your center stitch. This is where you would put it to continue in this pattern. You would put it on the knit side and then you would just purl straight across and then you'd put another one on the knit side and purl straight across. So you actually only put the increases on every other one to make something that looks like this. So now I'm just going to show you the make one right. Like I said, I'm just going to show you a bunch of them rather than only putting one in on this row. So I'm just going to start by slipping my first stitch and then knitting the next one. Now a make one right. For a make one right, you're going to take your left hand loop sorry, left hand needle and insert it from back to front in this yarn strand that runs in between your two needles. So we're going to go from back to front under that piece of yarn and now you're going to knit one in the front loop. and that's a make one right. So let me knit another stitch and show you again. See the strand of yarn that runs in between the two needles? You're going to insert your left needle from back to front. Back to front. Now that puts a loop on your needle and you're going to knit into that in the front of that stitch. Now what I'm doing with this finger here is I'm kind of rotating that stitch to the front so that I actually have a little space to slide my needle under. It's just a little trick I do so I can actually fit my needle under there, especially with these big needles. Going to knit another one and I'll show you again. There's this the little piece of yarn in between your two needles. You're taking your left hand needle and you're inserting it from back to front and then you're going to knit into the front of that stitch. show you one more. We're going to knit one and then here is the little strand in between. Insert your needle, your left needle from back to front and knit into the front of that loop you just put on your left needle. Okay, so I'm going to knit one more. There you have some right leaning um, make one right or right leaning increases and as you can see right here these are all your right leaning increases so anyway let's just go ahead and get to how to make that left leaning increase or make one left so this is my center um, line of stitches and I'm just going to go ahead and knit that one now I'm going to make a make one left to do that you see this little strand of yarn that's kind of in between our two needles? I'm going to take my left needle and I'm going to insert that into the strand from front to back. And I've now put a loop on my needle. And I'm now going to knit into the back of that loop. So I'm going to go into the back of that loop and knit. 
Okay. Now normally that would be the only place we'd put this increase, but I'm going to do a few more down this row just so that I can show you that a few more times. So we're going to knit another one and I'm going to show you again. See the little strand of yarn in between the two stitches? We're going to take the left hand needle and insert it from front to back, adding a loop onto that left hand needle. We're now going to knit into that loop through the back of the loop. Sorry, knit into that loop through the back, which is sometimes a little more difficult. There we go. And I'm going to knit the next stitch. And we'll show you that again. We're going to insert from front into this strand in between the two needles from front to back, which adds a loop onto our needle. And I'm going to insert the right hand needle from front, in, sorry, right hand needle into the back of the loop that I just created. There we go. And knit. Knit one more. Let's do that again. Insert my needle, my left hand needle, from front to back, putting an extra loop onto my left hand needle, and knit into that loop into the back of that loop. So knit into the back of that loop. Alright, and knit one. I'll show you again, front to back, and knit into the back of that loop. Knit one, front to back, and knit into the back of that loop. Alright, so, oops, there you go. We have made several of those left leaning increases. Um, like I said, normally you would just put one on each side if you're going for a sample like this, but there's, they're um, appropriate wherever your pattern says to put them. That's where you put them. I just wanted to show you how to do that left-leaning increase. I hope this video has helped you out, and have a nice day.